Hey, this is Aftar from Team Timescale. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the pre-built Grafana dashboards that come with the Timescale NFT Starter Kit. Now the NFT Starter Kit is a step-by-step -step guide to collecting, storing, analyzing, and visualizing NFT data from OpenSea, which is the world's largest NFT marketplace. And in this video, we're gonna see one of those tools in action, one of the many different tools that you get as part of the NFT Starter Kit which is the pre-built Grafana dashboards that help you get started with analyzing and visualizing NFT trends in a matter of minutes. Now in this video, we're gonna cover how to install the dashboards, how to use and modify them. And then lastly, I'll leave you with some resources to further your learning. So let's get started with installing the dashboards. Now, in order to follow the things that I'm gonna tell you in this video, you need to do two things. The first one is download and complete the data ingestion section of the NFT starter kit. There's a link in the video description that uh, takes you there and instructions to show you how to do that. And then secondly, you're gonna need a timescale DB instance that's filled with either the sample data or the real-time data. Again, all the instructions for how to do this is gonna be in the tutorial and that link is in the video description. So as you can see here, I've got a timescale DB instance called timescale DB NFT data and that's actually filled with the sample data set. Now, if you're new to Timescale and Grafana, we have a bunch of resources. I've linked the Guide to Grafana YouTube series that we did that's gonna show you how to do things like set up the Timescale DB uh, and Postgres as a data source in Grafana. So I'm not gonna cover that in this video. Please check out those videos. The link is in the description. Now, what I am gonna show you is how to import the dashboard. So what we've done is in the NFT starter kit, we have, let me just navigate to the, the GitHub. We have a folder called pre-built dashboards. Now, what this contains is instructions for how to set up dashboards in Superset, Apache Superset, which is a great visualization tool, as well as in Grafana. The one for Grafana is actually gonna be called Grafana collections.json and you're gonna see this, you're gonna download this, and all we need to do is copy this uh, file. And then in, in Grafana itself, we're gonna to go to create and then import, copy the JSON from the file that I just showed you, paste it in the section that says import via panel JSON, and then we're gonna click load. And so in my case, because I've actually created the dashboard, it's giving me some errors, but in your case, everything should just work fine. What I'm gonna do here is just change the name. Uh, so that the error goes away, collection dashboards. And then I'm gonna change the unique identifier. I'm just gonna make this AAA. Hopefully that will solve the issues. Okay, so now we can see actually uh, this dashboard is being created. We've got five panels under this row called single collection stats. And we've got another six panels under this row called simple queries. So what I'm gonna do next in the video in the second part is actually take you through these and show you how they work, starting with this single collection stats. Now the way that this works is we have a variable called collection name. And when we change the value of this variable, so for example, if I want to look at the collection called CryptoPunks, type that in up top. And as you can see, all the dashboards dynamically populate with information about CryptoPunks. Now, if I change that, so for example, if I wanna look at a collection called CryptoKitties instead, the dashboards dynamically populate for information about CryptoKitties for the time period under consideration. Now you can see, we take advantage of Grafana's time picker here, and I'm actually looking at the time period for the sample data, that seven days, I think it's October 1st to October 7th. But if you're actually ingesting live NFT data using the Python script that we provide you, you can actually look at data for the most recent period of time. Now, this single collection stats row in, in the Grafana dashboard allows you to answer questions about a specific NFT. So some of these questions include things like daily sales. So how many NFTs from this collection get sold per day? We can see how that changes over time for CryptoKitties. It also shows us the daily volume of Ethereum spent on sales of NFTs in this collection. So in this case, we can see, you know, on, on October 7th, we had 28 ETH spent on, on CryptoKitties. 
And uh, it also shows us things like information about the most expensive items sold. So things like the, the price of the most expensive item, as well as the item name and a link to the URL. So we can actually just copy this URL and view this item on OpenSea if we want. So I'm going to open up a tab and you can see here, this is, uh, this item Suzy Allness, and that's actually the one, the right name that we see here. So you can do a lot with this dashboard straight out of the box. And we want you to use this as a, as a starting point for building your own more complex projects, or you can even just use it as uh, something that gives you some more data for your purchasing decisions, or just something that you use to learn about the NFT space from a data driven perspective. So as I mentioned, these dashboards are dynamic and what you need to do here is look for the slug name. And if you can, you can select it from a drop down. So you can select, maybe I want to look at this one here, 24 pixel clouds. And in this case, I only have one data point. You can see this one is not as popular of a collection, but I'm going to change this back to crypto punks. So I get the, the nice graphs and all of these queries actually found in the tutorial. So you can learn more about what each of these queries are. And obviously you can edit and inspect them to see the, the SQL query that's underneath and obviously modify it uh, to your liking. So that's this first section, which is all about the uh, single collection stats. So focusing about information from a single NFT collection, um, that's that first section. Now the second section is called simple queries. Now these are queries that correspond to the tutorial that look at the data set as a whole. So they're not about a specific collection. And these are things like, as you can see here, the top 20 collections by sale volume. So you can see here which collections are actually doing the most volume for the period of time you can visualize in a bar graph, the actual amount of volume that each of these collections are doing. And then here uh, we have another uh, table that shows the highest, the, the most popular collections by Ethereum volume. So you can see which collections are selling the most in terms of uh, Ethereum over the time period under consideration. And then we also have a graph uh, that shows you how to actually compare the sales of multiple NFT collections. So in this case, you can see I'm actually looking at these three collections, Afro Droids, Crypto Kitties, and Lazy Lions, and I can actually see how they compare over time. Now, this is uh, pretty useful to track collections that you own or that you're interested in investing in just to see how they're doing in terms of sales volume. And then lastly, this is a, an interesting query that I want to bring up, which is the fact that you can actually get information about specific accounts. Now in this query, we look at the one and only uh, Snoop Dogg's NFT activity, but uh, you can substitute that just by changing the address that we're looking at. And you can get information about things like the trade count, the number of trades that they've made, how many NFTs they, they've bought in this time period, how many different collections do they come from, the total volume of Ethereum spent, the average price, the maximum price spent, all of these things you can modify for anyone's address that you have. Uh, this is a great thing. You know, the addresses are generally publicly available and all you need to do is just modify the query and you can add more things that you want to visualize just by modifying the query here. So these dashboards really do give you a good starting point and a good foundation to use as building blocks for your own analysis. And I hope this overview of the pre-built dashboards has been very useful. And for more insights about NFT trends and the queries to help you find them, I encourage you to download the NFT starter kit and complete the tutorial. There's links in the video description to uh, the tutorial in the timescale docs. And then what I also want to show you is this very special NFT collection called Time Travel Tigers by Timescale. Now we're giving away 20 limited edition NFTs from this Time Travel Tigers collection to the first 20 people that complete the tutorial as part of the NFT starter kit. So all you need to do to claim one of these 20 uh, time traveling tigers before they're gone is download the NFT starter kit and complete the tutorial and then fill out the form. The form link is in the video description to claim your one of one NFT. So in order to get your hands on one of these NFTs, as you can see here, 
They're uh, wonderfully designed by the team at Timescale. Each one of them has their own characteristics. So for example, you can see a close up of the image here and the properties that they each have telling you how rare which one is. You cannot buy the items in these collections yet. You can only earn them by completing the, the tutorial. And the way to do that is by hitting the link in the video description and completing the tutorial that's linked there. And now the easiest way to actually complete the NFT tutorial is using a fully managed database on Timescale Cloud. And I encourage you to create a free account. It's 100% free for 30 days, no credit card required. Once again, there's links to all of these things in the video descriptions to sign up. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have fun with the Timescale NFT starter kit.